Missing curriculum and missing textbooks are just some of the problems we uncovered at one CPS charter school. CBS 2 Morning Insider Lauren Victory dug deep into the taxpayer funded school's finances to look into allegations of mismanagement and wasteful spending. So, one over two. Chicago City. Virtual Charter School. We want to answer the question a free and futuristic hybrid of learning at home four days a week. What do we have to multiply four by to get four? And in a classroom, the fifth. So what multiples? It's one of a kind these? and also one on the watch list. Chicago Public School District is promising to investigate. After we dug through the taxpayer-funded school's expense report and did some math, we noticed a woman named Angela Richardson Bryant made zero dollars as board president one year, but 135 grand as director of strategy the next. There's another cost to that promotion, $3,752 for flights back and forth to Chicago because Richardson Bryant moved to Atlanta. Her six-figure job came after that relocation. CPS was already eyeing the Chicago Virtual Charter School, placing it on academic probation this school year. Administrators tried to right the ship through a restructure of academic programming. Divided by three. The kids fell further behind after a disastrous and delayed change in educational materials. How long were you waiting for some of your child's curriculum? Um, well, we waited at least three weeks just for a computer. His whole math course was missing. We got these. Um, about six weeks late. I did not really see light at the end of the tunnel. Some parents are already enrolling their kids elsewhere. And what number are we forgetting? Over Those there? who stay worry further dysfunction will cause the school to be shut down. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Our investigation also found a high employee turnover rate in just one year at Chicago Virtual Charter School. We'll continue to press CPS for answers about spending and oversight.